Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be taking you through my wardrobe and giving you a sneak peek into my wardrobe staples. That's what I'm going to show you guys. And by staples, I mean whether or not I'm having a fat day, no matter how I feel, these are my fail safe outfits that always make me feel good. They never let me down. They're always age appropriate. They're always appropriate for any occasion. They're just my beloved pieces that I know I couldn't live without. Most of these pieces I've had for many years or I usually buy a similar kind of piece and just replace it. Let's get stuck into it. My one staple for outerwear would have to be a black blazer. My black blazer is quite a few years old. I bought it from a boutique in Cronulla about five years ago. The boutique no longer exists, but it's called Something Else, the brand. It's just a sort of longish blazer. I love it because it's got very, very subtle shoulder pads which give you a nice silhouette. The simple three button single breasted closure with pockets at the front, just a flat lapel. A point of difference in this blazer is the slits in the back. I love the little white diamonds because I'm not really a black person. I find black ages me. Love, I will never get rid of it. Another staple I think for me would be my leather jacket. I bought this one probably about five years ago as well. It was from Sports Girl and I fell in love with the color. It aged very well over the years. I have worn it to death. I love the lapel, vintage looking. I wear it over my little dresses. I wear it with jeans. You know, it's just a real comforting classic piece that I just love to wear. Another staple for me is a cardigan. I bought it from Hawaii a couple of years ago from a boutique there called La Tarte. It's a beautiful, natural, chocolatey latte kind of earthy color. I love the peace sign. It's just very me. I love the hoodie. I don't know, when I wear this, I feel cool. You know, like if I'm running around with my kid and I take him to soccer games, I put this on over jeans and I just feel cool. I feel like I'm a cool mum in this little cardigan. It's more me than something prim and proper. So it is cashmere, so I know it's gonna last me a very long, long time and it even looks cute over little dresses. I really love the juxtaposition of wearing a girly dress and then something so casual like this with little ankle boots. It's just the look that really appeals to me. So this is my go-to knit. I love the long sleeves. I love the sort of uneven scooped hem. I love the little mesh panel in the front. It's got a tiny one in the back too. The grey is just so timeless and goes with everything. It's just really beautiful. This was purchased in Hawaii as well a couple of years ago and it's by the label Jamison. Nordstrom Rack I got this from. I think turtlenecks suit everybody. This one's mine, it's by Free People. I've had it for probably about four years. I bought it on their website online. I love that it's a loose kind of turtleneck and not stuck to my neck because that can be irritating. I love that it's a swing silhouette. I can tuck it, half tuck it into my jeans and leave the rest hanging out. The sleeves are nice and long. It's a very summery color palette. I tend to stick to the lighter colors even in winter. I just think it, it suits me more and it's fresh. It's still wintry white button down shirt always looks classic and timeless when I don't know what to wear I throw this on I roll up the sleeves if it's warmer weather I keep the sleeves down if it's colder weather it's just something I really love again it's free people I bought it from Maya when I had a huge sale I love the what would you call it like a lacy kind of embroidery panel at the back the detail again on the sleeves it's very long. I love the grandpa collar, not the traditional collar. It's oversized and drapey and it just falls really nice over jeans. And it's just the shirt I've been wearing lately. I'm pretty minimal when it comes to my wardrobe, I think. Every time I buy something, I have to get rid of something. I'm not a hoarder. I don't have an obscene amount of shoes or jeans. I have about three or four pairs of jeans. I have two pairs of sneakers, two pairs of heels. If I love a shoe, I tend to wear it to death. 
My staple t-shirt would have to be this white gapy v-neck free people one. I love the sort of mock rolled hem sleeve. I love that it's a gapy v and not the really straight laced tight fitted little v's that you get. I don't wear them. I don't find them flattering. But if it's low and gapy I like it with a contrasting bra underneath and a, and a long necklace dangling like close to my breastbone I find that really sexy. It's oversized and the fabric is very soft and beautiful and of good quality. Usually the pieces I'm drawn to have a point of difference so something unexpected about it. Now, I don't go out there striving to be different you know I like what I like and I buy what I like but I do like an unexpected element in in all my pieces I'm absolutely obsessed with free people it just really appeals to me it's my aesthetic it's bohemian chic always soft always fringy always loose drapey voluminous clothing and that's just what I wear this is a cute little top that I bought it's basically a tank shape it's got a little bit of fringe on the right side but then on the left side it's got this whole panel of fringe that drapes longer than the other side and this mesh part on the side and it looks great with denim cutoffs or my jeans but it's very cute the fabric is like different I I almost wasn't sure about the fabric to begin with I don't know if you can see that but the more I wear it the more I fall in love with it when I want to wear a fashion piece and not be just basic. I prefer a higher neck tank. I just find it more flattering. I like showing off my shoulders. It's a part of my body that I'm happy with, I guess. And I love stripes. Always have loved stripes. Stripes to me are just timeless, Parisian, nautical, in summertime. I don't think you can go wrong with stripes. And I am not of the belief that they make you look fat. So this one's by the label Joy and I got this from um, Hawaii as well from Nordstrom and it's just a swing little tank beautifully cut so flattering to wear the fabric is amazing it washes so well it doesn't ball it keeps its shape and I think for t-shirts and tanks I'd rather invest a little bit more like a lot of people just don't see the point in paying you know $70 for a t-shirt when they can go and buy one for 30 bucks from Forever 21 or sports girl or whatever but there is a difference because it's all in the cut and all in the fabric if you spend a little bit more you won't get over it it won't turn feral through all the washes and you'll just love it to death well, I could live without my camis I mean I'm wearing one now this is quite cute it was very cheap it was from Gander I'm not really in an off-the-shoulder kind of gal this I like. I like the illusion that it is a sleeve but it's not really, it's just basically two ties, you know, and you tie them together and it just makes it look like there's a sleeve. This is by Rachel Pally and I bought it from shop, but online shopping site that I'm obsessed with. It's got a little frill, it's, it's cropped but it just sits at the right length for me, just at the waist. When I wear a maxi skirt I'll wear this, if I wear jeans I can wear this with a blazer. It just gives me a bit of a sort of sexier look. I don't do sexy at all, but if this is probably as sexy as I get. So I got this from Urban Outfitters when I was in Hawaii a couple of years ago. And it was quite expensive at full price. It was $220 US and I paid $50 for this. It's got leather handles, leather trimming leather crossbody strap just got a little pocket very vintage looking which is what i love about it and it's very masculine which is also another thing i love about it i do use it when i visit my brother in queensland i'm usually there for three or four days and it just packs all my necessities i don't check in any luggage i take this and i'm good to go this is my staple beach bag you know, I do have others, but this is the one that I always reach for. I bought this from Lucky Brand in Hawaii. I've had this tote for... Okay, my son was probably about six years old when we went to Bali, and he's 12, so six years ago I bought this in Bali. I love the colour tan. It's huge. It fits everything in. This is the bag I take to the airport and whenever I'm in transit it just fits everything I can carry snacks for my kid you know a little blankie and just everything we need 
in here. It's stylish and gorgeous and timeless and never dates. I just put it on my shoulder. When I travel, I always reach for this tote. I guess most girls I know anyway have one beautiful designer bag that they've spent a lot of money on. This is my one bag. I don't have any other designer, like high-end designer brands. I bought this a few years ago, probably about five years ago from a consignment store. It's vintage and that's what I love about it. I love that it doesn't have the chain. It fits exactly what I need. On me, it's perfect because I'm short, so it's the perfect length. I don't know if you can see there. It's black, it's beautiful, it's Chanel. It's my one splurge. It is the most money I've ever paid for anything, but, well, in my wardrobe, but I love it and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. There have been times where I've been tempted to sell it because I've been strapped for cash or I've wanted to travel and the bag could, you know, pay for a big chunk, if not all, the flights. I've never let it go. I just love it. I know how excited I was when I bought it. I know how it makes me feel when I wear it. I know that it's very special. I love the inside. I'm drawn more to this than the, the newer styles that they have in store. This is just more me. As you can see, I don't have very many shoes. I do have boots on the other side, which I'll get to. This is just a little rack that I bought from Kmart. I put it together myself. My preferred choice of sneaker is Converse. At the moment, it's these ones, a very soft chambre denim. I bought them from Hawaii, so cheap compared to what we pay here. But I have worn them to death. They're very faded and a bit grubby. Not necessarily a fashion item, although I think they're quite fashionable. I wear them out, even though it's a big no-no in the fashion world to wear Uggs out, but I do. I wear them with little dresses. These are quite old, but I can't bear to throw them out yet. They're so cute, right? The little animal print. These are the latest ones that I purchased from Hawaii last year in October. It's been very hot, so I haven't been able to get into them, but I'm looking forward to winter so I can start wearing my Uggs again. I love these sandals. These would be my staple pair that I've been wearing to death at the moment. They're by Free People. They are beautiful. Free People do the best shoes. These I bought from South of the Border, a boutique in Cronulla, and I paid full price for these. I was so in love with them that I had to have them. I knew she wasn't going to reduce them because they're a staple in her store. I love them. So cute. At this time in my life, I'm wearing a one piece. I can't wear two pieces anymore. I just don't feel I can rock it anymore. Um, that window has closed. I love the fringing, I love the cross back, simple, but the unexpected detail is the fringing, which is bohemian, and I love anything bohemian. And this is one that I got from Zulu and Zephyr. It's just strapless, it's fantastic because you don't have to worry about tan line, but yeah, they're my two one pieces. Are definitely a staple for me because I do live on the coast, I do love the beach, and I do travel a lot, so. Two's enough. I don't need any more than that. Oh, I've got to show you one thing though. I do have another one. I don't really wear it anymore because it's, I don't know, I think I've worn it to death. But it's got palm trees on it and that's why I bought it because of my obsession with palm trees. I just can't bear to get rid of it because every time I pull it out and look at it, it makes me so happy. It evokes memories of all my travels. Okay, I do think that scarves can really take an outfit to another level. I do have a collection. I don't have a favourite or a staple. So I have, you know, some very fast fashion, cheap and nasty ones, only because they don't look cheap and nasty. I have a silk one here. Um, this is vintage. I love polka dots and I love this colour. It's probably my favourite colour, this aqua turquoise colour. A nautical one from Hawaii with little anchors. Violet one, I just absolutely love the colour that I got from my work when I used to work at Maya. This one's from Thailand. I guess anyone who's gone to Thailand will see these everywhere. They're like, I don't know, $5 and they're supposed to be the rip-off of the pashminas that cost probably, I don't know, six, $700. But the copy was good enough for me. Um, a couple of really old witchery ones. Um, a lacy one, one with palm trees, which I haven't worn in ages. 
a red one. I love a little bit of red. Depending on what I'm wearing or what mood I'm in, I just throw one over the top and I'm just instantly, you know, chic and fabulous. I think a cocktail dress is a staple. You can wear one to a dinner, you can wear one to a party, you can wear one to a wedding, you can wear one to an engagement, you can wear one to a kitchen tea, no matter what the occasion. You're celebrating a cocktail dress I think is always appropriate. It's probably my favorite little cocktail dress, if you can even call it that. I mean, it's very bohemian. It's quite short, shifty. The beading is subtle. It's a bone color. The back sort of has a slit that opens up and you can see this satiny, silky, just slip underneath. I can eat and drink as much as I want and you don't see it. Comfort is the first thing I think about when I'm buying anything or when I dress. How comfortable am I going to be? What girl doesn't have a maxi dress? This one by Zulu and Zephyr. It's very bohemian, again with the fringing. You can wear it off the shoulder, so one shoulder sits like that. And the other I wear it with a slip underneath you can also wear it without the slip as a cover-up to the beach it's just natural and earthy and bohemian I bought this from Thailand last year when we were traveling there it's quite long not long enough to wear as a dress unfortunately as short as I am beach yeah but not out to dinner so I just wear my cut off little short underneath but I just love the little choker tie I love the little detail of the fringing and the colors and the print and the gapey v-neck again and the little frill bottom and the little frill sort of short sleeve it's just a very cute resort piece that I love to wear when I'm traveling I definitely think dresses are a staple for me I guess I would have to say to a casual dress and then a more sort of dressier type of style I've had it for probably no word of a lie my son was probably three when I bought this from Hawaii. It's by the brand Wesk. I think that's how you say it. It was quite expensive, but I got it on sale. I love the bubble hem. I love that it's a shift. I love that it's a tank neckline colors. I love it's just wintry, but you can wear it as summer's coming to a close and the days get cooler. It looks great with little ankle boots. It looks great with little ballet flats so comfortable again I can eat and drink as much as I like and no one would know what's going on under there I have worn it to death and I probably will wear it for many more years to come I love this dress my free people long sleeve dress so it is black but I love the colors I love the print I love that it's a long sleeve and if it's a warmer day I roll up the sleeves to just before the elbow I love rolling things up to about there I find it very flattering on me I can button it right up to the top going for a more Audrey kind of classic look I can leave it unbuttoned quite down to say my bra and be a little bit more daring a little bit more sexy that's as sexy as I get that's not even sexy but yeah the little flirty skirt bottom the print is gorgeous The colors are amazing. It reminds me of something that my mum used to wear in the 70s. She used to have this, this black dress and had this flower print with bright colors. And I remember seeing it on a family video. When I saw this dress, it just reminded me of my mum's dress that she wore in the 70s and I knew I had to have it. And every time I wear it, I almost sort of feel like I'm my mum. She was really, really beautiful. So, such a beautiful woman. And she looked beautiful in, in her dress. And so when I wear it, I sort of feel like I'm paying homage to her. I love maxi skirts because they can be quite theatrical and romantic. And they evoke all those kind of emotions in me. Even though I have no one to be romantic with. But that doesn't matter. I love that feeling of a skirt dragging on the floor. It doesn't worry me if it gets dirty. A lot of women that come into the shop, I'll style them with a maxi skirt and they'll say, oh, it's too long. And I'll say, it doesn't matter. It's beautiful and romantic. I think that just adds to it. I don't mind if it gets dirty. Rough it up a little bit. It just is, makes it more livable and more real and authentic for me. This one that I purchased from a boutique in Cronulla. It's by Goddess of Babylon. It skims the floor. It's just beautiful. And 
I've worn it with this cami to give it a fresh look. I've worn it with the other cami I showed you, the black one. I've had it for five or six years. It's from Free People. I love that the buttons are a little bit off center and not traditionally placed in the middle. It has a lot of stretch. This style is supposed to fit at the waist, but it was way too big for me, but it was the only one left and I loved it so much. It was in Maya and it was on sale for a ridiculous price. And even though it was big for me, I thought I can wear it lower on my hips and it will look more A-line. It still works. It's just my favorite denim skirt, my only one, but I love it. Staple pair of jeans. I mean, I rotate pretty much all of them, but these ones, they're black, they're stretchy, they're the perfect length. They have the on-trend, you know, ripped, frayed knees. I'm just loving them at the moment and I'm loving black jeans at the moment. I don't know why I just find that classic and instantly dressy. That's an idea. Maybe I could do a video of different looks wearing the same pair of jeans. Yeah, let me know if that's something you guys want to see. My staple pair of heel would have to be just a classic nude pump. I'm not willing to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a pair of heels that I'm hardly ever going to wear because that's not my lifestyle. And my philosophy is to dress according to your lifestyle. My lifestyle is very casual. I live on the coast. I travel a lot. I'm with my kid all the time. We're pretty active. He's outdoorsy. He plays soccer. I'm running him to games. I'm running errands. My lifestyle is very casual and my wardrobe, I think, reflects that. Sure, I see beautiful shoes that I fall in love with and dresses, but what's the point in buying them if I don't have anywhere to wear them? It's nude. It's a pump. It's got this clear sort of look that was in a while ago. They weren't expensive. They're from Freelance. I don't even think they're leather. I was just at my wit's end trying to find a nude pump. I couldn't find one that I liked. Either they were too round or too pointy or too expensive. So these just fit. I still wear them. They're not great. They're not the most comfortable. And I will hold on to them until I find my dream pair of beautiful nude patent pumps. Another staple would have to be a wedge heel. Instant lift and you don't feel like you're walking on stilts. I love these ones. They're from south of the border. I think they're beautiful. My ankle boots are these ones. They're by Fry, made in Mexico. I bought these from Hawaii in October also. I have my long boots, which are my staples. I wear them with dresses. I wear them with jeans. I wear them basically with everything in the winter time. Down here are my crossbody bags. They are a staple for me. I'm not a handbag kind of gal. I'll quickly show you them. That one's a saddle bag that I got from Hawaii by Vince Komoto. It's all tan crossbody. I also have this one in black. I've had them for about seven years. I like Fossil. I think they make some really nice styles. And this was another one that I loved that I bought from Hawaii. It doesn't fit that much. In there like as opposed to these I find this isn't as versatile I recently just bought this from Hawaii in October it's by the label Botkia. I think that's how you say it it's a New York brand I loved the color I love the shape a rectangular shape is really me so there you have it guys that's my wardrobe well a peek inside it anyway they're my staples let me know what you thought of this video and if you'd like to see any more videos like this one. Let me know if you'd like to know more about any of the items that I've shown you. Once again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.